Well, it's time to turn up the volume and get ready for the cat fights. I'm Stan Zamana. Get it's time once again for Beauty and the Beast. And on today's show, a Muslim man gives us his views on the terrorist attack in New York City. Carlotta gets to have her say. Now, that's going to be interesting because she's going to give us a blow-by-blow description of all the times she's been found dead drunk up at Bourbon and Beef State. And a viewer compliments Jeannie on her dress sense. Now, the last time we saw this viewer, he was walking down the street with a guide dog and a white cane. Anyway, let's meet some of the Sheilas on the program. Welcome to Chan Murray. Hello. Hello, Stan. Have you got enough makeup on that face of yours? Well, I'm feeling a bit uh, stoked up, a bit pumped stoked because my, bit girlfriend, pumped, you? my pumped. girlfriend over there is giving me compliments. I must be doing so. I is. said only before Jen. the show starts, Jan. <laughs> Jan, why do you have so much makeup on today? I'll get Real? No, I mean, I've, I've never seen you with so <laughs> much makeup on in five and a half years, or is it four and a half years? No, pale lips. I've pale got the lips. 60s look. Is that right? Yeah, the 60s Very look back. Good. Speaking about the 60s looks, Maureen Deval. Hello, Steve. Trying to bring her back again, aren't yes, you? Yes, it's exactly five years, Steve. It's five years. Four and a half, been... five and a half, we're five years. Five years. You've been, show. you've been keeping count, haven't you? That's right. Very good. <laughs> and uh, this is, uh, well, this person could be the Countess, as a matter of fact. Uh, Prue McSween. Why the Countess? Well, it's an old joke, and you know what it is if I leave the O out. That out of it. is absolutely disgusting. That's, that's right. Did you notice I'm in the pink today? You are you indeed. You are so colour blind, you and didn't I, notice. And I've got to say to you, you are hair. actually starting to look half attractive. Oh, God. Well, what's You've happened obviously to your lost glasses? a lot of weight. I do not want to ever look attractive to you. Well, okay, if you don't, you don't. That's okay. <laughs> Here she is, the bourbon and beefsteak girl, Carlotta. Hi, Stan. How are you? <laughs> I mean, wouldn't mind being attracted to your wallet. <laughs> no, 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 no. My wife's got the ball, my wallet, as a matter of fact. Anyway, Lee Johnson, hello. Hello, Stanley. You are looking half good as well. Oh, thank you. It's it's all down to the makeup girls. Yeah, well, that's they're probably, fantastic. They are fantastic. They do such they? a good job on all of us. They Even do. you look half recent, half Well, decent, no, half well, the that's time. exactly right. I mean, they start with something with me at least. <laughs> And Jeannie Little, hello. Hello, oh, David Stan. I'm sorry I have to criticise you, but your hair's too long. You have to get with it and have it spiky and shorter. Well, that's what I'm going to do next year. Number three. Our producer yeah. has number three. Number three. Yeah. That's yeah. Nice. Yeah, he's got a number two, as a matter of fact. Yeah, yeah. has he? Oh. So with his rough head, he's got to do something extra, I can True. tell you. As a matter of fact, his wife loves it. Really? Oh, yeah, she loves it. Yeah. She loves the old spiky uh, Like a look. pin cushion. Absolutely. He looks like a pin cushion, too. <laughs> Dear beauties, how do you tell if someone is attracted to you or not? I, I have a male friend at work and, uh, who I get on really well with. We talk about everything, and he always gazes into my eyes when we chat. Often when we talk, he'll lean across and touch me on the leg or brush my hair away from my eyes. And when we see each other, he often gives me a long hug or kisses me on the forehead. I take all this as signs of his affection for me, but I've also seen him behave like this with some of the other girls at work. Any ideas on how he really feels? Jane on the email. Jane, it's very simple, darling. You know, you've got to ask him. Just say, look, I, I like you. Do you like me? And then that's how it all gets together. But however, he could... Duties. Well, you yeah. shut up for it a minute. I'm addressing, I'm addressing the people out there. When I'm addressing the people, the people but are the sitting up and they're watching. Want to know what you you want clown. To say. Read your letter, it's not duties. your turn either. It's not your turn, so shut up. Okay. <laughs> it Carlotta. says Stan and beauties. Mine no, doesn't. You're going to need Mine that. says dear beauties. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Yeah. Come on. Get on with it. No. Well, look. I don't, I don't, he's just a flirt. He's just really is a flirt. You get a lot of those in offices and that, darling. Look, accept his flirtations as long as he doesn't go too far. If he's doing it to other girls, he's not particularly interested in just you. There's nothing wrong with flirting, is there? No, there's no I don't find anything wrong Do with flirting. Do you flirt? As long as they, I flirt all the time. Do you really? Yes. Up at the bourbon and beef stuff? I flirt with my eyes. Oh, really? <laughs> I tell you, well, that'll be a dead loss. Okay, Jen, now it's your turn. You're so wrong, Carlotta. He's not flirting. He's a beautiful, empathetic person. There oh. aren't enough. Oh, please. He is. He's affectionate. He's kissing her on the forehead. He's brushing no, her hair. No, he's out. empathetic. He, he, he's got the female side. Freud talked about the anima and the animus. Men who have a female side are the most beautiful lovers. And I hope, I wish you one day he will become your lover. But don't rush it. Because intimate Intimacy should flow from affection, respect, warmth, oh, all those gorgeous feelings bubbling up inside. Oh, Not a wild, ugly in rabbit office. running into the Jen, Jen, oh, I Jen, think he's Jen if I came over there and I grabbed you on the leg and I brushed that your hair out of your eyes, what would you do? Vomit. Come on. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. Two Smell chances of that happening. That. Two chances. Smell dead stands on that. Yeah, very oh. good. Okay, Maureen. <laughs> 
Um, Jane, for your future happiness, just keep him as a friend for future happiness. Why? Because he is a flirt. If you oh. like, you could flirt with him, but I'm telling you, don't get involved if you want to be happy. You could get involved with this man, and the next time he's flirting with somebody else or he's off with somebody else. Be very careful. Well, your husband flirts. Does he? Yes, he does. Well, how do you know that? Well, because I, all the girls tell me. He bets his high eyelids at them. And yeah, he, he just likes women, I know and, that. Yeah, but that's he flirts why at she them. she's concerned about him. Yes, that's right. Tight that's right, I make sure. <laughs> I mean, my wife thinks that your husband's a real spunk, as a matter of fact. Yes, so You're does... That and it's in even... the makeup room that Patrick is a yeah, handsome sh- stud. <laughs> is a stud Don't say now. what we say up in the makeup <laughs> room. Yeah, yeah. All right, he okay, is a okay. Stud. Well, Jane, I'd hate to be your boss, because do you ever get any work done in this joint. You all seem to be <laughs> lathering each other up. This guy is a perv. You know, oh. look, I have to say to you. Why? Because if he's hugging, when I first started reading this, I thought, oh, good. Well, he obviously is putting out to you and what do you need? A neon sign or something. But then when you say that he's doing it to all the other girls at work, this is, there are a lot of men who get their sexual thrills out of turning, you know, coming on to women. <coughs> and this guy clearly is one of those. Maureen, Don't let him touch you. How many diamond rings have you got on your finger, Maureen? They're have a look all at them. Are you paying she, attention to this or are you being I, rude? I was just bedazzled being by rude Maureen's rings. Being what ring. you're saying. Marcello no. and I bought those. There's Zircons. We had a lovely time, oh, Jane, you? with your oh, really? Amex. Oh, very good. <laughs> Zircons, is that right? Yes. Okay. To this club. Yeah, good, okay. All right, after you now, Prue. Sorry. Well, I'm just, no, I'm not no. going to say anymore. I'm just but, I mean, has anybody ever walked up to you anywhere pregnant. and put their arm around you and said, Often. oh, Prue, it's good and to I see you? And I know they're having a quiet feel and they're, sl- they're really sleazebag old men. But I, I, I often do it with with a lot of no, uh, no, people. No, no, and everyone knows. And you have that spittle down the side That's of your right. mouth, which is also <laughs> really off-putting. Yeah, it's a bit of a dead giveaway. But I've got to say that these men who do try and have that sly little hug and feel yeah. are really revolting cretins. Well, I, I like to be affectionate. Yeah. I like to put my mm, hand over you. Have you washed your hands today? Oh, well, no matter of fact, no. Mm, but that still. was his right one, too. <laughs> <laughs> from what, from okay. what I hear, he is his Lee, okay, <laughs> Lee, it is school holidays, remember? <laughs> you're ambidextrous. No, you? no, remember? It's school no, holidays. No. I know oh, you're God. a blonde and you're dumb. <laughs> I know it takes a while for things to sink in. I'm You're sorry. talking about writing anyway. Oh, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> well, uh, Jane, this guy is the worst sort of man. I think he's more than a sleaze. Oh, I, I think he's, he's a been. manipulating You're pig. Naive, I think he's definitely out there to uh, gain the affections of all of the girls and to set you off then against against each other. I think, Stan, he's setting these women off against each other. He's making every one of them brushing hair out of the eyes and <laughs> and <laughs> hugging and staring into hearing. the he's eyes. He's got to look into their eyes. Heart, You're I have hard to of hearing. To look into people's Jane, faces. you have not had a lot of no. experience with men. But so I wouldn't be standing there <laughs> as a bloody expert, Jan. He might you be hard into the first one that comes along and just even ha- takes your hand and gives you a handshake. No, this, That's your this, man, this man is an absolute creep. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So what would she know about men? She's had a lot of luck with hitchhikers. Yes. <laughs> no, well, they're desperate, darling. <laughs> no, <laughs> no, get this re- really. This bloke didn't even have time just, to get his backpack off. <laughs> <laughs> well, and they're in a box wagon too. <laughs> more comfortable for him, more padding. She's mm. blushing. <laughs> She's blushing. She, she is too. Blushing. No, seriously, this is, I, I know someone like this who <laughs> make, makes you feel like you're the most important person on earth. And what's and wrong real, with that? But no, that's a nice no, feeling no, though no, for men to do that no, to no, women. See, unfortunately, genuine, people like you, you're, you're the reason why there's so many problems with blokes these days, why so I many am? blokes are out there <laughs> you know, wanting to suicide. You are. Because oh my God. you my think that some bloke, because he gives suicide. some sort of affection to somebody, <laughs> is doing the wrong thing. And so blokes get the wrong, so, wrong sort of no, message anyway, No, Jenny. I don't. Look, Jane, actually, a real man grabs you by the hair and drags you off. But whereas this one, pussyfooting around, can't you even see, can't all of you see he's as gay as a row of tents? Oh, For heaven's oh, sake, yeah, all touchy-touchy yeah. and little kisses on the forehead and all stuff like that. I think, oh, true. So what give we us are a break. saying is if a man is genuinely warm and affectionate, has a female side to him, he's either a dreadful, um, Sleaze. exploiting, sleazy flirt or he's a homosexual. Yes. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah. If, a, if a woman came up to you and I stared into your eyes and brushed be your hair away and gave you little, little kisses on your forehead, you'd be going, she's a dyke. 
No, Seriously? No, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. But I'm talking about Jan. Woman. If a woman to a woman, I don't think that's necessarily a female. I think this is our Anglo-Saxon hang-up that we can't express ourselves. I don't have a lot of hang-ups, tactile, Jan, and seriously, this is off. People. Jane, as you can see by the uh, different viewpoints of all the panellists here, <laughs> none of them can agree on anything. <laughs> She's either a, he's either a raving case, a nymphomaniac, a poof, um, he's got a pervert, or he's, uh, what would you say he was, Maureen? He's definitely has a wife at home, I can see. Well, that. okay, yeah. We've now established it. He's got a wife and him, what, 15 kids, Maureen? Yeah. Yeah. Jane, as I said to you at the start of this segment as well, what you should go up and say, look, I really do like you. Do you like me? Would you like to go out for a drink and then take it from there? Change if it continues to, no, don't change your job at all. He's just a nice, warm-hearted bloke, just like myself. Off you lucky girl. We'll be back with more of Beauty and the Beast very shortly. <laughs>